Hey, greetings. Performance Reviews here where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today I want to talk about the SIBO Parquet Tool. Now, to clarify which one is the SIBO Parquet Tool, it is not your electric power nozzle. It is not your standard Parquet Tool that comes with it or the Parquet Twister or the Combo Tool or Combi Tool, which is a little bit different in shape just to give you an idea, so that you can tell the difference between them if you choose to get one of these online. In fact, I'll make it simple. I'll just put a link below right here. So let's get into the Parquet tool. Now, before I get into it, the context of this video is going to be with the Parquet tool, which is the same tool that comes with the SIBO Felix that's modified. And I'm gonna show you that real quick. You'll see there's a yellow tab there. Just take a screwdriver, insert it, pop that yellow tab out. Now these brush strips can be changed separately if need be. You can actually rebuild this, you know, order the wheels, things like that. So this is kind of a buy it for life sort of tool. It's not so much a disposable commodity like some tools. Now the reason I am pulling the front brush strip off is to allow large objects to pass through, particularly pet hair. Without that front brush strip on there, that allows pet hair to pass through this tool freely, meaning it's gonna act kind of like the uh, Visawork gulper tool and suck stuff in. Now, particularly with SIBO, something it is a little different, and we'll show you right here, is the air path goes in like so, which means instead of the air path going straight in and being compromised where the neck is, you have the full diameter of that 35 millimeter air path going in, which means this tool has great airflow, which equals cleaning in this case, particularly with pet hair, that's important. Now in canister context, as far as parking is concerned, it parks on the front of the tool, which makes it a little awkward when you go to park it. Most of them park on the back of the tool. Here's another SIBO branded tool it parks on the back. So that part is a little funky. Another thing that's a little funky are all these ridges on the neck of the tool. And the reason these exist are for this to dock properly onto a SIBO Felix, where the tool actually goes into the body of the machine versus over the body of a wand. Also, for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using my SIBO D4 canister, though this is the same on any SIBO product in terms of how it works from my experience. I do use it on the daily with my central vac. There are some third-party adapters that are out there that allow you to adapt it to the inch and a quarter fitting that a central vacuum would have, which means if you don't have a SIBO, you can use this tool, though there's not an adapter to make this fit on slightly smaller fittings like Bosch or Mila, to my understanding. Now remember, I took the front brush strip out earlier. Here is why performance of this tool speaks for itself. Once you take that French brush strip off, you may have heard in the background that whirring or that whoosh of air. It has such high airflow that even stuff that comes in on the wrong angle by the sides where the wheels are, are still going to get sucked into the vacuum cleaner. Here are some larger clumps. Let's see how it does. Now, if you're new to performance reviews, we do a standard pickup test of breakfast cereal, flour, cat litter, and fresh pet hair, like you saw. So let's see how it does on the smaller debris. We are also using a studio mic, so you're gonna get to hear that whooshing sound I was speaking of earlier. Nothing left. So it really does work very well on floor with one pass. You're not going back and forth. The first pass gets most stuff. As you can see, 100% of what I put down. Now this tool is for hard floor use. It's not designed for carpet use, but let's see what happens when we do try it on carpet.
Well, that was interesting. It snow plowed almost all of the breakfast cereal forward. Picked up some of the cat litter, but not all of it. No animal hair there, but that piece was definitely where that went and it definitely snow plowed this piece. Um, and a little bit of flour left. So again, it's not designed for doing deep pile carpet like this, but this is worst case scenario if you wanted to just quickly pull some pet hair up. And as you can see, all the pet hair got caught in the bristles. Uh, again, so don't use this and expect to deep clean carpet. If you wanna pick up something real quick in the middle of the carpet, you could do that. Now, if you were just transitioning between hard floor and a very low pile area rug, it might get the job done. One of the strong suits of the SIBO parquet tool is its maneuverability. It doesn't quite go a full 90 degrees, but the angle of which it turns is fantastic. And whether you are a short user or over six foot tall, the angle will be perfect for you. So it maintains suction with the floor no matter what your height is, unlike some other floor tools. Maneuvering it around, things like this are just fantastic for when I need to get in and around stuff like this. Table leg, this chair, absolutely great. The wheels are also made a, out of a plastic that's been coated by a rubber, so it's not gonna mar, it's not gonna scratch your floor. Well, I hope this has answered everybody's questions about the SIBO parquet tool and why I so highly recommend it. If you own a SIBO or you have a central vacuum that has a SIBO head, this is a great tool to get. Or even if you just wanna get the adapter and use this on a normal vacuum. I will warn you, if you have a really low powered vacuum, this is not for you. For you. This is meant to be used on something high powered like a SIBO or a central vacuum. Please like, subscribe, comment below. There'll be a link in the description that helps the channel out a whole lot. Big thank you to our Patreon supporters that make this happen. Uh, consider joining Patreon, they get exclusive videos and all sorts of other things. Check that out in the link below. Have yourself a wonderful day.